is Brian Walko, Principal Geologist, Earth Extractions. Doing a little prospecting today. Fluorite zone that uh, also has intermixed uranium. Got the good old Ludlum, and as you can hear, it's starting to go off about uh, 300 uh, CPS. So, a couple words of advice. When you're dealing with uh, anything radioactive, my goal 300 or more, just take some precaution. Again, the stuff won't kill you. Maybe get you in 15 to 20 years. But uh, you can't get it inside of you. And since my hands are all cut from previously busting rocks, I put the gloves on. Home Depot is a great place for your radiation supplies, folks. That, and just out of precaution, because it is windy, I always steal these from the doctor's office. Okay, so let's see how hot this is. Uh, we're going uh, 700. Fogging over. He's melting. Well, that's not bad. 700 CPS. Uh, 31,000 uh, CPM, but uh, it's hot. And bring it down to uh, CPS. A couple things we can do with this. Okay, what I have here is probably one of the greatest inventions in fluorescence is this Convoy UV light. Take these off since I'm not going to be digging. And let's just see if this stuff fluoresces. This thing is so powerful. You go into daylight and fluorite will turn kind of a yellow, bluish. Yeah, this is radioactive, but again, for the uranium oxide, which I don't think there's any free uranium oxide, that stuff would light up green, as green as you can get. So we're picking up fluoride crystals in here. So it does confirm we got fluoride, we've got radioactive fluoride, and now I have a radioactive light, which I'll have to clean. And uh, interesting find. You, you may have some uh, radium salts in there because these floor spar deposits did have trace radium. Yeah, I don't have an isotope detector, but that'd be nice if trace radium. I'm going to say, and I don't think there's any phosphorescence. And of course, I'm getting wind blasted by the stuff. So, interesting find. No commercial value. Nothing worth selling, but uh, it's always cool to uh, use all your fancy tools when you're hiking up here in the mountains. And uh, I know it's here. Maybe come back at night and see if there's uh, the actual vein of uranium, but I've got better places. So thank you, folks.